Hi, Bob Freeman here, cult detective. And today I thought I'd talk a little bit about the Hardy Boys. I started reading the Hardy Boys when I was six years old in the first grade. Um, I was a, a, just a huge fan right out of the gate. The first book I read was The House on the Cliff, um, book two in the series, um, which was a present on my birthday from my parents. And um, I loved it so much, I went straight to the school library started reading my way through the series um, from the start. Um, the Hardy Boy books were created by Edward Straitmeyer for the Straitmeyer Syndicate who specialized in the type of juvenilia. Uh, first volume came out in 1927 and uh, just they, they were very popular with, with kids from then probably up into the 80s I would imagine. Uh, they still sell but not, not quite like they did at one time. Uh, the first books in the series were written by a man named Leslie McFarland, a ghost writer. Um, of course all the books were listed under the name Franklin W. Dixon. Um, McFarland understood his, the task. Uh, the plots were usually very interesting. Um, so yeah, so I still collect them. You can see a portion of my collection here behind me. Um, I, I love the cover art. Um, I'll just pick one out at random. I just always appreciated the artwork. This was a pretty nappy. Uh, yeah, just very evocative and fun. Now, Interestingly enough, as of January 1st, uh, these are the Applewood editions. Books 1, here we have the Tower Treasure. Book 2, The House on the Cliff. And Book 3, The Secret of the Old Mill. all entered the public domain which means if you're a publisher those first three editions you're free to release to the public in your own editions it also means for those enterprising authors out there that you can write stories using those characters but only using the details within those first three books so any uh, side characters, locations, those kind of things. You can't draw from any of the later editions and any editions those stories may have made. Um, so somebody very enterprising um, could do something with that. Uh, it's intriguing. It's something that you know I've, I've considered. Um, but I have a lot of things already on my plate, so. But I wanted to talk a little bit about my love of the Hardy Boys. Uh, my love, in particular, of the cover art, as I said. That's why I still collect the books. I also have a keen interest, no pun intended, in Nancy Drew. which once I finished the Hardy Boys, I read my way through those, through Alfred Hitchcock's uh, Three Investigators, Tom Swift, all those type of things, and loved them. I also have a fondness for the 1977 TV series, which introduced supernatural elements 
which I always felt that the Hardy Boys needed. Anyway, I'm still recovering from surgery, so apologies if I'm a little bit scatterbrained. I hope to chat with you again in the very near future.